In this section, we're going to do an introduction to polynomials and polynomial functions. We're going to start out with some vocabulary, and hopefully it doesn't get too boggy, but the basic idea is if you're looking at an expression, it doesn't have an equal sign in it. An expression is composed of a term or several terms. It's simply a number or a variable raised to a power. And that term could be a product of numbers and variables raised to powers. Some examples of terms are things like 5x cubed, 9a to the 4th, b to the 5th, negative 9, and 3y to the negative 2. These are all examples of terms. Notice that the sign in front of them could be positive or negative. If it's the leading term, the first one in a row, usually we won't write the plus sign. Let's look at part two. A monomial is a number, a variable, or a product of numbers, and variables raised to a whole number power. So some examples of that would be negative three, xy to the second, 5a to the third, or negative 4z to the fifth. These are all examples of monomials, meaning there's one term. The degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents of the variables. That might not make a ton of sense yet, but let's try this. If the monomial has only one variable, its degree is the exponent of that variable. When a variable does not have a written exponent, the exponent is implied to be 1. The next thing we need to learn is something called a coefficient of the monomial. Coefficient is the number in a monomial. So if we have the monomial 3, the degree is 0 and the coefficient is 3. If we have a monomial 5a to the third, b to the second, the degree is 5. Notice that the degree is the combined exponent of a and b, both variables. And the coefficient, the number in front, is 5. So we look at the exponents to find the degree, and we look at the number sitting in front to find the coefficient. If we had the monomial negative 2xy, the degree would be 2. That's because we're looking at the degree on x, which is assumed to be 1, and the degree on y, which is assumed to be 1. If we add those together, we get 2. And the leading coefficient, or the coefficient of this monomial, this one term expression, it's negative 2. It's the number out front. Lastly, if we have 7x to the third, the number in front is the coefficient, and the exponent is 3, so the degree is 3. A polynomial is a more broad term, and it's a monomial or the sum of a whole bunch of monomials, meaning a polynomial has one or more terms in it. That's the basic idea. Each monomial is called a term of the polynomial. Plus or subtraction signs separate the terms. For example, if you had negative 5x, this is a polynomial in one variable with how many terms? One. In example two, we have 6x plus 5. This is a polynomial in one variable with how many terms? Well, you count up the plus and minus sign. This is assumed to be a plus 6x plus 5, and that will give us two terms. The next example is 3x squared minus 5x plus 6. This is a polynomial in one variable, meaning we only have x's in it, with how many terms? Three. We can count up the plus and minus signs. We have a minus plus, and then we assume the leading term has a plus on it because it didn't have a minus sign. And then for the last example, we have 5x to the fourth, y to the seventh, 
plus 3xy to the second is a polynomial in how many variables? There are two variables. Because we have an x and we have a y. There are two more things we need to talk about. The leading term of a polynomial, which I think I've already used today in this video, is the term of highest degree. Its coefficient is called the leading coefficient. If you had a monomial, then the leading coefficient is the only coefficient. The degree of a polynomial is the same as the degree of its leading term. So you have to remember that with leading terms, you would put the highest degree first, and then the degree of that polynomial will be the degree of the leading term.